I'm Darren Crooks. I'm Kurt Short. Welcome to Unofficial Review. Today we're going to talk about Thor Ragnarok. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're the same. You. So this is the third in the Thor films and along with Thor, Loki and like Odin and shit you also get Jeff Goldblum as the Grandmaster, Tessa Thompson as one of the Valkyrie, yeah. as well as Don't know. Kit Blanchett as Hela, yeah. and also Bruce Banner plays a really big role in this, Mark Ruffalo. The director was Tika Watiti. Yes. Very hard to say. New Zealand, I'm pretty sure. From New Zealand. So. Yeah. He also done Hunting for the Wilder People, and... What We Did in the Shadows. What We Did in the Shadows. I haven't heard of either of them. No. What We Did in the Shadows is a great vampire comedy. So it is, and it's also a new TV series. So, was it? Yeah. Budget for this film was 180 million US dollars. And it has grossed over 315 million US dollars, so it's well and truly made its money. Yeah. Plus some. Fair enough. So, what are thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> um, you go first, one. After Thor 2, I was not expecting a great deal when watching, starting watching the third one. Watched the third one on Christmas Day, and I swear it was the best Christmas present I've ever done. <laughs> I'd like because it was amazing. Like, it was so funny. Just, what do you call your rock island? Oh, uh, Corb uh, or something? Cord, Corb, Corb or something like that. But he has like an Australian accent. He's actually voiced by Tika yeah. Watiti, so it's um, New Zealand. It's so funny. Like he's a brilliant character. Just everything in it was yeah. so funny, and it wasn't over like in your face, trying to be funny. It was just funny. Yeah. It's like, do you want revenge? I want revenge. I call. I say we call ourselves the Revengers. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, everything about it was brilliant. Yeah. So it was. Yeah. No, it is. It's probably to me still. It's the best Thor film. Yeah, and like and I it really just like the first one. yeah, and uh, now I do as well yeah. after rewatching the first one. I think it's a great film, but no, this this, this just fixed Thor. So yeah. they, for me, like they just made him such a more fun, interesting character, and mm -hmm. the fact that he had this new group of people with him along with the Hulk worked really well. Yeah. Like the Valkyrie and all, like she's a fucking alcoholic and stuff. And Jeff Goldblum is pretty much himself as the Grandmaster in this because he's, he's funny a weirdo. He's really, yeah, like, he's really funny there. Yeah, and it's great to have Mark Ruffalo in it again as Bruce Banner and yeah. the Hulk because the Hulk in this film is more intelligent and is popular. Yeah, he stuff. talks more. Yeah. Yeah, so it was good to see that dynamic between yeah. them, and it also shifts more. Like you get to understand the Hulk and Bruce Banner a bit yeah. more in this film. Definitely. So do and Loki, he's in it and he's a good guy for most of the way through and all. And, you also have Doctor Strange shows up at one point. Yeah, so. it's, it's just done so well. Like, yeah, it was done really just, well. It probably is one of my favourite. It's all yeah, comes down to Tika Watiti though, because he yeah. is just, like, I love what we did in Shadows. And mm. I haven't watched Hunt for the Wilder <laughs> People, but it's on my list of things that I really want to see. So... No, you probably will watch it, because... Oh yeah, definitely. all props go to him, I think, for this film, because he yeah. really took it to Total a new level. Probably, yeah. And also Kevin Smith, who's like my favorite writer director, he also said that finally they fixed fixed the work. Yeah. And Chris Hemsworth was like, he took that as like a great, you know, appreciation. Yeah. So yeah. Chris Hemsworth, funny enough, is actually going to be in Kevin Smith next film, Jen Silent Bob reboot. Yeah. Don't know if it's going to be a big role. It'll probably just be a wee cameo, like. Yeah. But it's a big name for a small film. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. But yeah, no, this it just gave character gave a lot more character to Thor and humor and stuff. Like he's so dim witted but funny as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> like I watched it last week. I think I could honestly watch it again. Like I remember you said like you didn't go to the cinema yet, and I can't I know, imagine not I going know. to the cinema. Yeah, so it came out December and I watched it the next December. Yeah, that's so crazy. I hadn't seen it a year and everybody was saying how good it was and I was uh -huh. like, see, it was just simply because the second one was so trite. Yeah, like the second one was pure trite. I think it's because I mean, the trailer was very Guardians yeah. of Galaxy esque, yeah. so it was, it was so it kind of gave me hope for it because I was like, oh, they're taking it a different direction, yeah, and they they needed to mm -hmm. after the Definitely last one, it. so yeah, Thor Ragnarok. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's fucking Definitely. great. It's one of the best out of the MCU. Yeah, did you have it to your collection? I have it in my collection. Didn't no. get it straight away. No, because I didn't no. have the money, but yeah. I have it now. <laughs> 
I actually have a really weird version of it. It's like an American version, but it works over here. So. Yeah. That's eBay for you. You got some yeah. weird shit on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so. What would you give it? I would give it a nine. I'm on nine too. Yeah. It is Definitely great. a nine. Definitely a nine. Brilliant. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching our review on Thank Thor you. Ragnarok. And what starts with Thor Ragnarok? I really need to look at these. Is it an Avengers? I think it's no it's not Black Panther. Black Panther. Yeah. So join us next time when we talk about Black Panther. Yep. Bye.